city of Northport is expanding rapidly with new construction, wildlife, including black bears, are losing some of their habitat. So SNN's Adrian Hernandez has details about how to avoid it if you can. Now, we're not used to seeing a lot of bear sightings here on the Sun Coast, but recently we've had a couple scares. One of the main contributors is rapid development in Sarasota County. What you're seeing here is a recent bear sighting in Northport, Florida. The first one in about seven years. Being the second fastest growing city in the U.S., Northport is developing at a staggering rate. According to the World Population Overview, since 2020, the population has grown by over 23 percent. We spoke with the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation regarding what this rapid development could mean for bears. So bears have extremely large home ranges. And certainly habitat loss and fragmentation is a huge issue for um, wildlife, bears in particular. And so um, what, what you might find is bears showing up in places that are new developments. Take a look at these construction areas in Northport. More than 350,000 homes are being built, some of which on the border of massive forests, making the likelihood of seeing a bear just that much higher. But what can we do to prevent a bear sighting? Making sure there's no food sources to draw them from the woods into your backyard. So keeping up any garbage, dog food, pet food, bird seed, um, anything that might attract a wild animal to your yard. Bear experts also stress the importance to never intentionally feed the wild bears. I'm begging folks to pay attention to at least this little part. Do not intentionally feed bears. They don't need the food. They have plenty of wild food out there. Um, and it almost always ends poorly for the bears. Reporting from Sarasota, I'm Adrian Hernandez, the Suncoast News Network. And Florida Fish and Wildlife bear experts advise residents to also carry bear spray. It's especially handy if you're someone who enjoys to hike and appreciates the Suncoast's many nature sites.